Welcome back to my channel. Let's jump straight into the reading and see what you're not aware of at the moment. Um, any information that you need to book a personal reading will be listed in the description, so just check there. You guys have about five more days until the 50% off sale is done for our third year anniversary here on the platform. Uh, so like I said, that information will be below. I also have a really awesome pick a card up on my mystical moments page. Uh, it's a pick a card for the full moon in Virgo. So if you want to know how the full moon in Virgo is going to affect you personally, check that out. And let's go ahead and get into the cards. I'm going to flip the camera like I always do so you guys can see what we're working with and enjoy. Leos, let's go ahead and jump into your reading and see what you're not aware of at the moment. Let's start with this deck and see what comes up. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What are they not aware of? What are they not aware of at the moment? Okay. First card we have, we have the Six of Swords. Mm. So there's a brighter light at the end of the tunnel some of you are going through <laughs> you guys are going through the motions only reason why i'm laughing is because for a lot of you it's more so on an emotional level there isn't anything physically going on um whenever i see the six of swords this means that mentally in terms of your mental health that's personally getting better after being flustered agitated even a little bit dramatic about certain things here Okay. There could even be some really great news that you're going to be hearing in terms of a move. You could be having the green light confirmation that a move is going to be happening, that you're going to be able to move forward with some sort of project. There's going to be movement in stagnant areas in your life where you felt like, I don't know, the universe may have been testing you or it was like pulling teeth with certain things, but now you're starting to see the ball roll, which is really, really positive. You may have a family member who you haven't seen in a while also come and move closer to you. This family member could be needing help in terms of navigating, getting around and stuff. So you guys could be finding yourselves like building a closer relationship because of that. Hmm. What also may be in the future, you may be mending a relationship with someone, a family member, somebody who you're in love with, but you guys are just having a rough patch right now. I just get the energy of you guys being able to finally... Like I said, have this energy of uh, understanding each other's point of view or something. Let's keep going. There may be a conversation that's had between you two. That clears the air. I also have the Nine of Swords. Ooh, you have a soulmate that's stressed out about you. And they could be... Not on purpose, but like communicating with you in the astral realm or communicating with you in the spiritual realm. So if you've been having like very vivid dreams, you could be tapping into astral projection at night and not even be aware of it. Especially if your dreams have been very vivid. Some of you don't remember your dreams at all, but some of them that you do remember are really strange. Hmm. Some of you who are stressed out about love in general, you may not even know it. You have new love that's about to be coming your way pretty soon. You could have a cancer trying to manifest you into their life. This could be through magic. This could be them thinking about you a lot and hoping that you reach out to them. But I'm getting cancer energy strongly as far as an individual who wants to get back in contact with you. Ooh. 
Page of Pentacles, Ten of Somebody could have tried to do magic on your person or if not your person, like a family member of yours. And you may have noticed that something is off with them. I definitely would offer them or even you uh, maybe like a protection spell, uh, a reversing spell. There's one more I had on the tip of my tongue. But maybe starting off by cleansing. Yeah, starting off by cleansing your energy and this individual's energy and maybe getting some, some spiritual work done. And I'm talking to the people who like blatantly have noticed that. And this is like a confirmation for them. Hmm. But I also see something here about a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. If this is a friends with benefits situation, this person's going to try to come back around. And you need to do your best not to entertain this person. Because they are going to take you through hell and back. Especially if you already have been going through hell and back with the situation it's no different than what you've already been experiencing with this person um so yeah this is just a heads up leos things that they're not aware of mm. someone's really trying to mess with you this could be like somebody who's very drama filled that's trying to like attack you bring you into drama that's not yours also all the effort and work that you've been putting into your person in, in your career and personal growth you're going to start to see that pay off everything is cause and effect so if you put the hard work in, you're going to get out results. And that's what you guys are going to start to see. I also have synchronicity. And I have domestic harmony. Hmm. Yeah, so some of you guys may not be aware of how your spirit guides are communicating with you via either angel numbers or through songs through you seeing certain posts on instagram at a certain time synchronicities are not just limited to numbers synchronicities could be you just coming across the right thing at the right time at the moment where you need a confirmation to what you're already thinking And some of you may not be catching all the synchronicities. Not saying you haven't caught any of them, but you may not be catching all of them. If there has been a lot of drama within the household where you live, whether that's inside the home or like outside of the home, like within your neighborhood, things are going to start to calm down. Things are going to start to get better. Especially if you have tension with another family member as of right now. Or like the person that you're in a relationship with. But these are just some of the things that I see. I hope that you took something from this reading. If you did, thumbs the video up and subscribe so you never miss a beat. And I will see you later. Bye Leos.